so today's video is going to be more typical cleaning and then we're going to do a little kind of presentation on how we treat for mites um as far as i know we don't have any mites but it doesn't hurt to do another treatment just in case especially since we just brought in a new snake we're gonna treat him as well as the rest of the snake so if he has anything then hopefully that'll get rid of him okay so this is what we use for mite spray it's uh natural chemistry reptile spray this is what we use both times we had mites um since we got the big old gallon we have a spray bottle now labeled yep labeled so we don't accidentally think it's water <clears throat> at least i wouldn't make that mistake but I feel like I'd do my something. lovely fiance back here probably would mm -hmm. but basically we when i first had mites the only thing i did was just spray down the enclosure with the mite spray um this mite spray you can use on the snake too you can wipe them down um what were you saying i said it worked too yeah so i got rid of the mites you know i had to treat about for a couple weeks about a month maybe and i got rid of them um this is when we we're living in an apartment I had carpeted floor, but we didn't do any heavy cleaning, vacuuming. A lot of people say to do that, which I guess if you want to take an extreme measure, you can. But all we did was just use the mite spray. We didn't even clean out the racks or the tubs or anything. We just replaced the paper towel, spray it down. Removed their water bowl for a couple yeah. days and the water contaminated, drink it. Um, this time around, we've been struggling to make sure they're gone. Uh, and it's because we have more snakes. Basically, what we've been doing this time around is scrubbing out the tubs with hot soap and water, and then you know, using the spray, spraying it down, spray the snakes down. You know, just make sure you don't get it in their eyes or whatever because you don't want that in their face. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and kind of show you how we're doing that. Um, so, yep, so we'll start with her tub. Um, of course, she was in this other rack, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to start somewhere. She already peed in here, it looks like. Just upgraded it and decided she wanted to go. Hey, they got a break in the new tub somehow. So, of course, there's no mites in here. It's just pee. But the thing is with the eggs and larva, they're so small that you can't see them. So you might think, oh, I don't have any mites, and then all of a sudden they'll just pop up overnight. What? Okay. You sure? Yeah. Are you gonna actually pay attention to the camera? Yes. And not be looking over the camera. Anyways, let's see if I can try to get it out. It's like glued in the bottom. Yeah, no, that ain't coming. Can't use that. No. <clears throat> I was thinking if I sprayed it with here, can you grab me the water bottle? If I spray it with the water, I'll soften it enough to I just only got my finger in the camera, my bad. Well, pay attention. trash can real quick because it's all the way over there and I can't reach it and she's also oh. starting to travel of course that's a cat she's our pet pie female oh. she's realized that she is now free there she goes she's leaving um, I need a paper towel So are you gonna go scrub this out for me? Yeah. Hot water soap. So we use Don just soap and you know just hot water. Scrub it out real good. Um most I just wanna get the insides and all that. 
Yep. Unfortunately, we got regular adult responsibilities besides the snakes. Which sucks, but it is what it is. This girl's gotten so big. She was only like 150 grams when we got her. She's, you know, sitting around 700 and something grams now. <clears throat> oh gosh, excuse me. I had, I had pizza rolls. What? Oh god. Because I guess my sister hasn't done the dishes yet. You know, it's been her turn for the past couple days to do them. Oh well. <clears throat> if this is Cat, we got her from Jan or Morph, so you can find them on Facebook and Instagram. I will put their links down in the description. <clears throat> really nice woman you know she's been there to support me the whole time uh, gosh. Um, another breeder that you know has been super supportive of me you know here locally uh, it's Mayo's Morphs uh, Melody and Jeff Mayo um, <clears throat> I will also put their links down in the description. She's just going everywhere. But yeah, with Males Morphs, I, a bunch of my snicks that I have actually came from them. Um, I've purchased a lot from them. She will not stay still. I might have to sneak her into one of these tubs because I would like to show you guys the snakes. So I can. I got him from Males Morphs. Trying to think who else, not you. A lot of the other snakes that I have from them are actually in that white rack, but. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Rant. Okay, so he's. Scrub this out as best he could with hot water and soap. The urates kind of don't come out very easily. Um, I need paper towels. Oh, wait, they're right here. I'm stupid. Um, so what we're going to do, we'll get the paper towel. Or the paper towel is going to roll away from me. Or you can let me hold the camera. No, because you suck. And we got way too many. Good job. We oh, fucked yeah. it up. Don't blame me. You good? Okay, so we got the paper towel in here. We're gonna go ahead and just, you know, spritz. Oh yeah, I think it spritz a lot better than the other yeah. ones. Okay, well, I'm gonna pull her back out of here. Oh. Mm. And the way I usually do this is I'll just spritz it on them. And then use my hands to kind of wipe it. Like I said, this don't hurt the snake as long as you don't get it in their face. Um, and again, we'll leave the leave the water bowl out so she doesn't climb her water bowl and make a big old mess and you know contaminate her own water. Because, you know you don't want that. So next we got um, Xander here. He was covered in them. Yeah, he was one of the ones who had them. I don't think he does now, but still good to. I see little specks in this tub that look like dead ones, but I don't know where the dead ones keep showing up from. Um, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and spray him right now. The thing is, this mite spray will immediately kill any that are on him, if there are any on him, which I'm not seeing anything on my hands, so I don't know. He just wanted to go all over the place, though. Yeah, he don't stay still, which does not make this any easier.
No, I'm not seeing any on him. It's not coming off onto my hands at all. But, again, still going to treat him. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set him in the side tub so we can clean out this. It looks like he peed. Just a little bit. Um, Yeah. I need to take out that trash too. Yep. But we're gonna go ahead. We're not gonna scrub this one out. I'm just gonna give it a good old spray in the corners. Spray it down. Um, you put the paper towels where I can't reach them. <coughs> Don't inhale the white spray, please. Because it ain't that great. Um, so, again, that real good. the water bowl out. We'll go ahead and, please don't bite me. We'll go ahead and put him back in here. And I'll move on to the next one. So I got this is Oreo. You're going to get treated too. Yep. He doesn't have any as far as I know, but... You know, again, you can't see the eggs, you can't see any of the little bits. Actually, it looks like there's one right here. So, Some you left never know. Leftover shed in this tub. Yeah, because I can't hear you. Hold on real quick. I'll put this paper towel down. There he goes. So that's the thing. I thought we had the mites all gone, but they are not all gone. I just keep finding dead ones everywhere. This could be just the residue from us treating before, because we haven't scrubbed out the tubs. I just tripped that on my foot. Okay, give him to me. And give him a good spritz. Yep, I'm gonna basically hold him from the neck, try to spray down his body. It's gonna make this difficult. Yep. Just rub it all in those scales. Let's see, yeah, there's no, I don't see any mites coming off of my hands, so. And if there were, they'd be dead because that even, mite spray kills them. Even if, uh, like I said, even if we don't have any mites, we should at least treat once a week. Oh, uh, once a month. Not once a week. Because here's the thing, if we go to an expo like we did yesterday, wow. we could pick them up there. See, so like this, looks like he has a couple of dead ones too. He yellow boy. One thing I hate about bananas is that they have mites, it's really hard to find them. Because they're literally already covered, covered in black spots. We were having this problem when we had them before. All kinds of fun. So we're gonna go ahead and set him over here. Just gonna try to run. I always like to run. Eh, that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a good old spritz. And we will spritz him down. Rub it in. Well, basically, we just do this with all the snakes, you know. Because normally, if you usually <clears throat> rub your hands around all all down him, usually you can find some on you. Sometimes you'll find them; they'll fall off. Like <clears throat> I don't know if that was one. Um, but it also just rubs it into the scales instead of it just being dripping off them. Um, yeah. Now him, he's in shed. He looks kind of disturbed. Just um, a little bit. Because he's been soaking in his water bowl for the past forever, even though it's not because of my exceptions, because he's in shed. 
Wait, I know that's because there aren't any mics floating around in his water bowl. And again, he's in shed. He peed a little bit though. So we're gonna go ahead and pull all this out. Um, this is almond, or you know, super mystic male. Very gray looking right now. Yeah, um, he's being paired to Butters and Lucy. Uh, which actually, Butters looks like she is starting to build. Um, I can feel follicles in her. I believe I mentioned this in yesterday's video, but I figured I'd talk about it again. Um, she's gained about 500 grams in the past four months, so that's also a good sign. Because big, you know, big adult females don't usually gain a bunch of weight like that unless you're, you know, overfeeding them or something. Just checking my hands just to see if there's anything on them, which I don't see any. So I'll go ahead and put him back up. Now we'll move on to the next one. There's Peanut. Looks like he made a lovely mess of this tub. I don't know if you can see that, but he also left a snake print somehow. You can see the belly scales. <laughs> know how or why they managed to do this, but I can tell you it's disgusting. You got more urates? Yep. Oh. He's full of piss. <laughs> That's one thing for sure. But the thing is he usually never bites. No. I'll I bark no bite. He's just grumpy. He's the kind of grumpy he just, he just verbally tells you he does not like what you're doing. And then you have so Solaris. I say too bad. Then you say, then you have Solaris who's the complete opposite. No, nope, Solaris will murder you. Oh, he's hissing at me again. Sorry, Peanut. I know you don't like that. Okay. So again, Peanut, he hasn't had any mites as far as I'm aware. It was most of these lower tubs, but I'm going to treat all these tubs up here just to be sure he does not like that. Yeah, I'm doesn't. sorry, Peanut. He's just going in circles. Well, that's spider for you, unfortunately. Especially since what I'm doing is probably a little stressful for him. Go ahead and put him back up here. And then next, I'll pull up this tub. That should be Solaris. Yep. She, for whatever reason, I'll feed her a frozen thawed mouse. She'll strike it, wrap it, but not eat it. That's what just happened earlier. And yeah, it smells like death in here. So this paper towel is brand new, so I'm not gonna throw it out. But she's still gonna get her tub treated. Be careful with her. Uh, she's not too bad to handle. It's just don't stick your fingers in front of her and scare her. Nick, because I've been bit by her. Yep. I don't think I've been bit by her, but that's because I know how to read their body language and I know not to stick my fingers in their face. So she's usually pretty fine with handling. Hey, Julie. I'm not scared of her. I don't think she's gonna come after me and eat my face off. She's just a little touchy. Yes, you are. Yeah, you wanna bite my face off, don't you? <laughs> no, she's doing that S pose. Yeah, because she wants to bite my face off. Okay. Pull myself over backwards to grab this. So. 
I'll go ahead and spritz her down too. I already sprayed her, of course, so she's good to go. She's very flinchy. Yep. I appreciate the help because I can't really do this from down here. We got Delta. Drop. Yeah, it's just kind of hard holding the camera and do everything it wants to. I struggle this. So her. She's in shed also. Yep, she's getting her shed. She's almost a thousand grams. This girl is finally getting up to size. It could be an, an adult by next season, right? Mm hmm. Sure will be. She's a 2018 snake. Yeah. She's been a slow grower, but you know, she's been here, she's been here since day one. Yep. Which I'm actually not going to treat her because she's getting ready to shed and you don't really want the mite spray on them when they shed. Well, here, actually, let me check her. No, yeah, no, you did, you did the same thing with almond, but. Yeah, she should actually be fine. Um. Maybe spray her tub and not her. Well, that's the thing. I sprayed almond down too. Oh, you did. And we'll just give her a new paper towel. We'll give the tub a spritz. I'm just kind of, no, don't mess it up. <laughs> really just got this set up in here for you. Okay. Can you put her back up there for me? Yeah. I'll hold the camera. Because I'm not going to be able to. So, this girl's almost 350 grams. So, I think she can get an upgrade from the juvenile, you know, the baby rack up to the juvenile rack over there. She is big enough. She's going to the kindergarten rack. Yep. Let go of the tub, you weirdo. Look at what you did. <laughs> this girl's gotten huge. So there we go. Big old tub for her. Then I'll be going ahead and weighing the rest of these guys and see if any of them up, any of the rest of them need to go up a tub size. This boy's gonna go up a tub size because he's over 300 grams. I usually aim for 200, 300 grams and then they go up to the juvenile rack. So I'll get these paper towels in here. First we're gonna do a little spritz. I already sprayed him down so I don't have to spray him down again. Set you in here and there you go. So I actually did end up selling the boy in that tub over there. So that crusty gecko. So these are just genetics cards I have. Um, I gotta get these other two finished. But we also just had some people over and we ended up selling Gwen to them. So, so one less ball python. They said they would probably be buying one of her babies in this rack. Here, an expo. I'm just gonna spritz this down. Go ahead and do this tub. Looks like she's hiding behind the lay box again. Looks like he's hiding underneath the paper towel, like a weirdo. Give that a good old spritz. Pop the lid back on here. Of course, Robbie decided last minute to do laundry, so I'm having to finish this off by myself. Uh, 
looks like one of the cups fell. That would explain why I found this magnet on the floor. The only downside to these is they don't stick very well all the time. Sitting on a lay box, though. Got that all set back up. Go ahead and spray this down. There we go. So that's really it for today's video. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys how we treat for mites. Um, and we're trying to get rid of them. I mean, the ones I keep finding are dead ones. So. Whatever it is, they're not living very long. Uh, there won't be too much interesting happening this week. Uh, once we're done treating and everything clears out, we're going to start pairing some of the males and females again, or ball pythons. Um, and hopefully, you know, I'll be something interesting. Next weekend we'll be vending, so we'll have a video on that. Um, and then the weekend after, there's another expo we're planning to go to. That's in Paducah, Kentucky, so that's, you know, a bit of a drive from us. But that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching, and consider giving a like and subscribe. Bye.